So one of the questions we've been getting a lot in the Plant Powered Kidneys Facebook group is about arthritis. What can I do for my diet that protects my kidneys but also helps with my arthritis? Now, you may not realize this, but arthritis is not just a problem with as we're getting older or even a lot of young people have arthritis problems, but there can be connections related to arthritis and CKD, specifically around the old renal diet and how it didn't protect the kidneys and it definitely didn't help with arthritis. Now, before we get into all of that, my name is Jen Hernandez. I am a renal dietitian board certified in renal nutrition and the founder of Plant Powered Kidneys. You can learn a lot of information for free on our website at plantpoweredkidneys.com. You can subscribe here and learn more about all of the stuff we'll be talking about in the upcoming year to help support you, help you find a renal diet that not only takes care of your kidneys, but really helps you enjoy life and enjoy more food. Now, getting into arthritis. So this is when there's pain in the joints, it's hard to move, can be stiffness, and it just creates really, really low quality of life. Now, when you have kidney disease, that's already a problem, right? We're, we're struggling with things, there's a lot of anxiety and fear related to what's going on with our kidneys because our body's not always really telling us what's going on with CKD. But now with arthritis, there is a physical reminder with this pain and this difficulty of moving. So what are some things that can be done in the diet that protect your kidneys and also help alleviate arthritis? One of the things that's really, really important is to include healthy fats. Now, when I'm talking about healthy fats, I'm really pointing at omega-3s. You can find these in fish. So if you choose to have animal proteins in your diet, having some small portions of healthy fish like tuna can be a great way to provide healthy fats in the diet. Now, if you're not interested in having animal proteins or if you're following a low protein diet and you need to be careful with your protein intake, you can find healthy omega-3 fats in foods like ground flaxseed, flax oil, even walnuts and walnut oil. Chia seeds also provide healthy omega-3s. So incorporating these into your diet can be a really great way of adding those healthy fats that come from plants. If you're looking for ideas of how to incorporate these healthy fats, definitely grab our free seven day meal plan where we show you how to include these different foods in kidney friendly meals. Now by adding these anti-inflammatory healthy, healthy fats, we're going to be protecting the kidneys as well as lowering inflammation that can be related to arthritis. So including more of those healthy fats is a great way to go about it. Another area that can be helpful for both arthritis and kidney disease are fruits and vegetables. And you'll probably hear me talk about this all the time because it's not going away. More fruits and vegetables is generally helpful in pretty much anybody's diet. We don't get a lot of fruits and vegetables, especially kidney patients who are following old and outdated diet recommendations that include overly restricting potassium and cutting out foods like bananas, tomatoes, avocados, potatoes, sometimes even berries. Yeah, we've heard kidney patients say that they're cutting back on berries because they're afraid of the potassium. But what's really, really important to know is that when you're cutting back on those fruits and vegetables, you're also cutting back on those antioxidants, those really helpful compounds that are great to protect the kidneys and yes, also help with arthritis. So getting plenty of fruits and vegetables is going to be really important for your overall health goals. The other thing to consider, which I know a lot of people will also ask about, are supplements. There are a lot of supplements out in the world that are available over the counter, or you can talk with your healthcare professional about them, but definitely wherever you get them from, talk with your professional, your, your doctor, your dietitian to make sure they're right for you. Because even over-the-counter supplements that are targeting arthritis and joints can impact other medications that you might be on. So it's really important to clarify that with your provider. You can even talk to your pharmacist and ask them when you're picking up medication, ask them about supplements because they're also very well versed in this uh, field and can help guide you along the way as well. 
no matter what, you've got to talk to your healthcare team before starting any supplement to make sure it won't impact other areas of your healthcare and your medical and treatment plan. So definitely talk with them about that. Now, speaking of supplements, one of the big ones related to arthritis and CKD is vitamin D. And yes, studies have shown that people with arthritis or at a higher risk of arthritis tend to have low vitamin D levels. Now, before you go grab your vitamin D from the store or buy it online, make sure you get your levels checked because there is such a thing as too much vitamin D and that can be bad for kidney patients. It can be bad for your average person. Too much vitamin D is not good for our health. So you want to get your levels tested and tested routinely. I like to recommend getting them tested about once every six months. And I kind of pair it with daylight savings changes because there's a big change in the sun, which is one of the places that we can get our vitamin D from. So make sure you're getting your vitamin D levels tested. And when you're on a supplement regimen, have your provider following that with you because that amount may change based off of your own lab results, not just vitamin D, but your calcium levels, your phosphorus, and in some cases, parathyroid hormone or PTH. Not gonna dive too much into that today as we're just covering this kind of overview about arthritis and CKD, but I do want you to be thinking about some of these things as you're going into this path and if you're looking at a vitamin D supplement. So what are some of the foods that you enjoy that you find are helpful for kidney disease and protecting your kidneys, but also can help support your joints? I want you to comment below and tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear them and I love connecting with you. Stay tuned for future videos where we answer questions that we get from people just like you.